Hello everybody, today is the 19th of December so it's time to open door number 7 of our second advent calendar. I wonder what it will be. But first I'll introduce you to the baby today. This is Michael and he is the Liam Kit by that company and he was created by Stephanie. He is such, he's actually a budget baby. She was creating budget babies where people could afford to buy her, her babies. He I don't see any difference. The only difference really is that he's got no weight in him and she didn't put him in the budget bay, but that's okay. I could probably do it one day when I get around to it. So we'll go on the other side and find out who's behind door number seven. Okay, so we'll see you on the other side and you'll see Garfield. <laughs> And we are here. So first off, oh, here's Garfi and little Cece and Michael sitting up there standing asleep. So 19, 19, 19. Getting close to Christmas. There is number 19. 19, 19, 19. On the back it's got true to yourself. Yes, be true to yourself. I wonder what we've got behind this today. Sometimes these are... Oh, didn't lose it. <gasps> oh! We know this jolly fella is. It is Santa. Bye, Santa. <clears throat> Chocolate's nice when it's been in the fridge. Some people actually put the chocolate in the um, freezer. And I don't know why. He's got a really floppy head. Over there. In Garfield. Switch up. There we are. That's good. So who have we got now? We've got Forky. And we got Woody and we've got Buzz Lightyear and we've got another Woody and we've got Duke Kaboom I had a look at that one find out what that one and the one from yesterday is actually Ham thanks to Sally who told me who it was I should have realised because it's a pig. So I wonder who's going to be behind today's door. Hmm? What door are we? Seven, isn't it? Yeah, seven. And seven is down here. I see something there. Oh, oh, we got her! We got her! Got Jessie! I was hoping to get her. She is so cute. Oh, little Jessie. Oh, that is so cute. Actually, I think I got them um, all in order before. Because sometimes, yeah, they're right. It can be hard to put them all in order. Oh, sorry, little man. Would you like that? So there we are. Who got Jessie? Jessie the cowgirl. I've watched number two. Today I watched number three. To get so I'll have more watched by Christmas. Yeah. So what's happened today? Um, overcast today. I've actually it's over it actually woke up I woke up at half up, sorry, eight o'clock last night this morning I woke up. I couldn't believe I woke up so early. And the sun was out. Oh, it's all great. I needed to do my washing. So I washed that and and <coughs> it was out for a couple of hours and came over shade and come over overcast. I thought, oh it looked like rain, so I thought it was almost dry, so I brought it in. I'm glad it was almost dry. Because I had to go and get my weekly meat pie for lunch today and 
it is really nice when i bring it home it's warm so i just chuck it in the air fryer for 10 minutes and it's voila eat it out of a bowl and just eat a fork and it is really nice potato pies are not really nice it's hard to find a good aussie meat pie um i don't like the meat pies over here because you don't get much in them i like the um potato pie because you get a bit more but plus i like potato i've got to get me veggies in um i know there is a pie shop in the plaza and I didn't like the look of them. People said, no, no, they're really good, you know. So one day I said, okay, I fork out $7.50 for a pie. And there's nothing. There's, it wasn't worth the seven fifty. I should not have. But I think you've got to actually try these things for yourself to see if they are. People say, okay, they're all right, but. Now, there's only one thing I've tried four things from there's a four yeah four things from that bakery and there's only one that I like and that is the lemon curd tart um the sausage rolls are blah, and they make lemon meringue pies the little ones but the lemon the meringue is not cooked they just blow torch it so it's still runny and to me that's not a lemon meringue so I don't have, I, so I just get the lemon curd in that is I love I love anything lemony really nice lemony kokanee anything like that I know was it muffin break they used years ago I got some what was I pineapple and coconut muffins and oh, they were really nice I love me pineapple I love me coconut beautiful it's still warm today warm no, more like muggy um and i got the fan going i actually left the fan going last night i forgot to turn it off maybe because i was tired and i do some thinking and i went to bed and i forgot to turn it off so the place is cool <laughs> but i was told the ceiling fans don't um generate as much power as the pedals for fans i thought okay um, speaking of power, I'm changing my power company. I found a place that's power is cheaper than what I'm paying with my present one. So I'm actually changing, which will be changed in a couple of weeks, actually. It will be changing on my next read, which will be about the 6th of January. It will change over to another company, which is cheaper. Even without the discount I get from the company, will give me, they were giving me a 13% discount, even without... That discount it's still cheaper and another thing in Australia we got when you got a health care card or pension card you get a power energy rebate of about $285 a year and so that comes off and when that comes off each each fortnight each power it is a lot it, it really brings the bill down so I'll be changing out to them in few weeks once it changes over i'll have cheaper be paying cheaper for my power when i look at power who's cheaper i go by what they charge per kilowatt for me hot water and also for our for power and also to supply because you got to pay from supply to the house i was paying a dollar 14 a kilowatt for the other one um, the another pl the place I'm going to, I think it's about a dollar nine a kilowatt. So that saving of five cents a kilowatt is a big savings. Even the other two lots are a big savings. So every everywhere you can save, you got to save, and I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, nothing else is happening. I said it's warm. I had a good sleep last night. I actually watched something really good last night called heartbeat it's an american medical series it only had 10 episodes um and i thoroughly enjoyed it had two aussies in it the leading actress was melissa george she is an aussie actor um and who's the guy i can't, the guy was in coyote ugly remember coyote ugly where she had because the bar manager had a fire bill 
for something or other and she she had to actually raise money so she knew this guy come up and she auctioned him off for her date so she got the money from him and it was this guy was in this thing and it's called heartbeat there's also another english series called heartbeat which is completely different this one i went for and for, as i said eight season sorry not eight sorry ten episodes I was going to watch Chicago PD, but then I realised it was a cop that was in Chicago Fire was in there, and I don't like that. I didn't like that cop, so no, that's out. Now I've got to find something else to watch, which I'll be doing. I think when we're doing this together, I will actually be um, what we're we doing. What I'll be doing, watching Story Toy Story Toy Story Three. Got to watch that one. I want to finish the fourth one by the end of these. And I think that's it for today. Hey, Garfield. Hello, everybody. Bring little Garfield up. Now bring this little man. This little man, he's got really wobbly head. Really wobbly. Really wobbly. Bring him down a bit. Oh, excuse me. And we're bringing Garfield. And we're bringing Cece. So we're all here. So everybody, hope you're having a good day wherever you are in this beautiful world. We have a hope. Wherever you are, it's not too hot, not too cold. But then again, I know in America, there are places that they, they get snow and it gets a bit, gets a little tad cold over here. We're in Australia. As I said earlier, we are copying the heat. Um, it's like I said, I don't, I think it's just humid and it's really bleh. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. So, wherever you are, take care, stay safe, and look after yourself. Of course, we want to see you next year, don't we? So, everybody, I'll start wishing you all a very Merry Christmas, and we'll see you tomorrow, which will be. Door number 10. We're getting closer. No, it's only six days to Christmas. Seven days will be all over. <laughs> so, everybody, bye from my lot, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Have a good day, mate. Bye.